Hey guys, I've just pulled over to do a little update on my situation. So this bulge on my st tummy is quite big. I do look pregnant. I look about four months pregnant. It's above the scar line from my after my colon revision surgery from SRS. At first I thought it was swelling. It hasn't gone away. It bulges out more when I'm doing physical work to the point that my boyfriend even said that looks really like it does look very noticeable. I've seen two specialists who are saying this looks like a hernia and I'm, I'm booked in for a CT scan to find out what this is. Um, last night I had a full-blown mental breakdown and literally threw shit around my room and smashed a mirror and my boyfriend was there and he was like calm down it's so you know he was like at least supporting he was at least like supporting me like didn't run off you know because i was going full-on crazy and i i think it's a symptom of all the problems i've had for two years i had gender reassignment surgery to try and make my life easier and it's done nothing but cause me problems um i'm trapped really in my body I am damned if I do or damned if I don't. Like if I didn't have the surgery, I wouldn't be happy. And I've had the surgery and I've drawn the short straw and had complications. And now I'm looking like having a hernia, which I didn't think anything of. I was like, oh, well, whatever. That's, you know, minor. They can just repair that. Um, it's not. It is super serious, like serious, serious stuff having a hernia because a hernia is literally your intestines coming out of your stomach into the skin area and i've got a big one if i've got a hernia it is huge it's not a little hernia you know where they can put a little patch over it it is massive it runs across my entire stomach um i don't look in the mirror when i'm after showers i don't like looking at myself anymore and so this is major it will require a huge, huge amount of surgery to fix, and that's where the problems come in. The research I've done shows that hernias are so difficult to repair, like they often reoccur, and the mesh that they put on top can cause so many complications and problems. Like I think in the UK alone, there's 100,000 cases of against the mesh with patients who have had complications and serious ongoing pain and problems so i'm like not interested really in mesh i'm really scared of getting that done based just the complications i'm hearing about have 90 percent put me off of getting a mesh put in um and my luck is not good like i'm always the one in the group that has the complication so last night I just went ballistic and I was like throwing stuff around my room. I was like, I just feel trapped. Like I can't live my life. I've, I've gone and had all this revision surgery. I've spent so much money and all the, all the nightmare of getting revision surgery, the pain, the difficulties, the dilating. And now I'm like dealing with a hernia, like out of the blue, like what the, what the hell? Like I did not expect this. And I'm like on the verge of crying all the time. I want to cry now and I, I, don't, I can't because i got work to do. Like I'm literally like lifting all this stuff to my next job. And it's like making my hurt. Whatever this is, bulges. Whatever's on my tummy, it sticks out really badly. By the end of the day, it's really sticking out. It hurts. And I'm like constantly pushing it and holding it in while I work. I don't want to cry. Um... I'm really struggling um, because it's costing me a lot of money to fix all this and going to Dr. Kamal and getting peritoneal pull through was the worst decision of my life. I don't recommend anyone to go to him. His complication rates are too high and he runs a factory. You're just a number. So I got fucked over. I just followed a couple of friends over there who went and I thought, well, I'll, I'll go. And now I'm screwed. So it's just so much money and time to fix all these things. And now a hernia, like this actually is not, 
this is major because I can't have a career, I built a business I've been building for four years, I now have a stable client base, how can I do this business anymore, I can't lift stuff without potentially getting a hernia is just reoccur over and over, the research I'm doing is that you've got a pretty much 100% chance of it coming back after surgery and me lifting stuff with this giant hernia and mesh on my stomach and constantly using my abs it's not going to work like I can't do this so I'm I'm waiting for my CT scan if they say it's a hernia it is actually game over for my business I will have to sell it I will have to move into a different career um, I left my job as a branding expert six-figure salary running the branding for a big company I left that to do my own business and now I'm literally going to lose my business gone because of a hernia of all things <laughs> my life is literally over I think um, I don't know what I don't know what I'm going to do I can't I don't want to go back into my other job I left that for a reason I was burnt out and I can't do this job because it's physical so what what am I gonna do like I'm now a disabled person <laughs> I can't believe I'm in this position I don't know why I've got a hernia what is why what caused this did was the stitching just not done well enough after surgery what happened I don't know and when I talk to these experts they don't give me answers either you know I'm spending $300 a pop to see these experts and it's a 15 minute meeting they kind of just want you in and out of their office I'm just being shunted around like I'm in a pinball machine now and it's costing me so much money um, that's why I had my meltdown last night I was like I I haven't had sex coming up nearly two years um, I've had four orgasms in two years my surgery has been nothing but a disaster I have got people reaching out to me that I don't speak to anymore but it's like I can't really talk to someone who said stuff you know like I'm so glad you were botched and it couldn't have happened to a better person and you're my guinea pig and stuff like that and yeah I am mentioning that okay I know this person's watching me but it's like don't reach out to me and expect me to talk when you can see I don't think people get that this is actually serious like this is end of life stuff for me my I've got many years ahead of me and I can't work now I am disabled so saying shit like that doesn't get forgotten sorry it, do, it just doesn't and uh, so we will wait and see what the CT scan says it's really unfortunate in my country gender reassignment surgery is not considered necessary it's considered cosmetic so it's in the same field as getting a nose job so there's no real cover for me I am struggling to get the government to help me with my revision to if I have to have surgery so I might be looking or staring down the barrel of twenty thousand dollars for repairing this hernia I'm still spinning how this happened I, I don't know um, <laughs> but it is me so I'm the one that always has the problem so if I have a hernia operation I am terrified of complications because I never seem to have any luck I just don't things are so bad things are so bad that financially I may consider having to go into escorting to cover my costs that is how bad this is and so opening up on my channel and talking about my complications has been beyond difficult I don't want to cry <laughs> I will not but a strong woman who had a career and a business is literally gonna to have to lie on her back to pay for this shit so when you go and watch Samantha Lux and Matilda Hogburn and Maya with all their bullshit glamorized videos know that the reality of gender surgery can be this
okay? It can be life destroying. But what else are you supposed to do? I have to, had to get the surgery, right? Anyway, I'm sorry, video is not very positive, but I'll see you in my next one. Bye.